Thomas had just cracked his fucking eyes open. He was already forced to go to the fucking coaling plant. He was really fucking mad. He looked. He noticed something. The sky looked dark, and the clouds hung over really low. It looked like it was about to snow outside. His driver shivered. It was freezing. Well, Thomas, we're just gonna have to go get your fucking snowplow. No! I'm not wearing that triangle! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Can we just wait until the, uh, the, the snow just, uh, goes away or something like that? <sighs> Fine, said his fucking driver. Yeah! Oh yeah! I have to wear a snowplow! I'm gonna talk meat 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 more! I'm gonna talk meat 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 more! But they didn't have to wear it. They still had to fit it on just in case he had to wear it in case of an emergency. Ugh! He said. The fucking red iron pulled up beside him. Oh look! The blue piece of shit. With a blue piece of shit in front of him. You'll have to wear your fucking plow too! This made James fucking mad. I won't have to wear my plow, because I'm not a little blue piece of shit. I'm stronger than you, and I carry coaches down the main line. And I'm not gonna let some soft, white shit fucking stop me like it stopped you, where Tansy tractor to where you had the fucking snow, you piece of fucking blue shit! Now get the fuck out of here! Fucking moron. Fuck! Oh, if I continue to scream, it might make me have to wear my snow plow even longer. Might as well stay calm. Sorry, Thomas. He might have to wear it later on. The snow looks like it might get worse. For most of the day, he didn't have to wear his fucking snowplow. He raced along with his good trains. <gasps> FUCK YOU! He went up and down his branch line, carrying good trains and coaches. He pulled up at the station, and he saw a sad Nemo out in the airfield. Hi, Harold. What's wrong? Oh, bad weather. Looks like the snow's gonna get worse. It's not gonna be able to make my fucking Harold soar around. I'm about to crack my fucking Nemo. Fucking Thomas knew what this meant already. He had to wear his fucking triangle. Oh, no! No, 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 no! No! He decided that he would stay happy and act like he didn't have to wear his snowplow. After all, him acting mad would make him more likely that he had to. He thundered up and down the line. Not gonna think about my snowplow. I'm not gonna think about my snowplow. I'm not. Oh shit, I'm thinking about it right now, thought Thomas. What do I do? He pulled up at the fucking station and realized that he had finished all his jobs for the day, and the snow had just started falling. Congratulations, Thomas. You made it on time. Yeah, thought Thomas. I don't have to wear that fucking triangle of a plaque. And I don't have James get fucking mad. But then he saw something. James has broken down on the main line. He's run out of coal. You're going to have to go over there and go fetch James out of the fucking snow. The snow had gotten heavier up the main line. Now hurry the fuck up. We're going to have to fit your snowplow on. Ugh, oh, he thought. I thought I would make it to the day, but I have to wear that fucking plaque. He fucking pulled out. Ugh, oh, he thought. He fucking looked up at the snow as it fell down. Well, maybe I can, like, break my snowplow. Like, maybe I can... I can't do that, because I'm the fact control one out that I tried. It was tiring, and he fucking pushed through all the snow drifts. He was like, why is James a silly piece of shit? James was sitting there, stuck in the snow drift. He was covered in frost. Oh, yes! I made it on time! Oh, oh, fucking James, what the fuck?! Why?! You made me wear my plaque! Fuck! James was too embarrassed to say anything. Thomas jerked back and fucking big James super hard and fucking whipped down the goddamn line. He was tired, he was mad, he was just ready to crack his fucking plow off. It was that bad. They pulled up, and James was the first one to notice a specific person standing there. 
Oh no, thought James. What the fuck, James? You should have taken on more coal! You fucker! He turned to Thomas. Well, Thomas, I am very proud of what you've been able to achieve today. As a reward, you will be able to go back to your shed. And he thought, I will never have to wear my snowplow ever again. So Thomas, you're gonna have to wear your snowplow again, said Stephanie. All the engines were excited to go on a mission with Stephanie. All except, well, the blue piece of shit, who didn't want to wear his fucking triangle of snowplow. Come on, Thomas, you already smashed the other 24 snowplows that the fat controller brought you. That's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not! I am gonna break the snowplow, though. I don't fucking like it. Oh, come on, Thomas. Just give your snowplow a chance. I mean, I'm smashing my snowplow. I'm smashing my temporary snowplow. I'm fucking done. All of the engines had been assigned jobs to do. Two were going to be paired with each other. Alright, there's a lot of fucking something to be done, so you're all going to get jobs. Toby and Percy, you are to take the trucks up the line. Thomas and Stephanie, you are to wait until the snow clears up. They were happy, except Thomas. He didn't want to wait. Oh, fuck! First the snowball in this! Come on, said Stephanie. It can't be that bad. At least you're not taking them up the main line. At least you don't have to wear your snowplow after all, he said. You can at least be thankful for that. They all headed to the area where they were all going to do their fucking work. Thomas didn't want to fucking wait. There were a lot of trucks this time. They were all empty, though, so they weren't going to weigh that much. Holy shit, thought all the engines. There's a lot of trucks. But don't worry. Together, we can all shunt some together. Thomas didn't want to. He just wanted to sit in the shed. Oh, come on. We only have to shunt a few. Toby and Percy were assigned to do most of it. Stephanie and Thomas then waited for the snow to clear up. See, it wasn't that bad. Percy was then to go up the line and help Stephanie. And all Thomas had to do was wear his snowplow back to the sheds. But then somebody ran up to him. Oh no, said the manager. Percy's at an emergency at the docks. And Toby has to take the jerks over to the bridge. Unfortunately, Thomas, you are going to have to go with Stephanie now. <gasps> no! Why is it always me? I'm ripping up this flow! Oh, my fucking tank engine this day couldn't get any fucking worse well at least we can be thankful that we're at least not going up the main line stephanie was always looking forward to it and thomas was at least happy of that even though he didn't like wearing a fucking plaque of a plow soon stephanie was ready to go and thomas left to meet him up the line What Stephanie didn't realize, though, is that he was wearing Thomas' backup snowplow, in which Thomas had deliberately at 3 o'clock in the morning broke all the screws on it. So it wasn't very functioning. It actually felt like it was about to come off, in which it was. He pulled down the fucking line with his goddamn Stephanie. He didn't like wearing the beat fucking plow. It didn't feel like it was fitted on correctly because Thomas broke it. Soon, it began to get worse. SHIT! The snowplow came loose, and with that, he went off the tracks. Fly! <laughs> SHIT! said Stephanie. SHIT! It wasn't the worst crash in the world, but he still didn't like it. Thomas met up at the junction like he was supposed to with Annie and Clarabelle. Oh no! said Thomas. Uh... I didn't do that! Stephanie well fucking knew that he was the one who broke his fucking plow. Soon the fucking breakdown crane came to pick him up out of the fucking snow. Thomas! You broke your plow! Again! What have you done? You've caused the confusion and the life! Oh, I'm sorry, sir. 
said Thomas. Get the fuck out of here! He looked at Stephanie. Though he was very ashamed of himself. Stephanie smiled, as it was very hard to make Stephanie pissed off. We can just act like this never happened after that. Well, as soon as I get my Stephanie off the rails, and lose my crack funnel, and my probably my broken dome. Thomas felt happier after that. <laughs>